Former FIA President Max Mosley has died. Ex-Formula One Chief Executive Bernie Eccleston has announced this. Uh, Eccleston, uh, former CEO of the Formula One Group and Mosley's former business partner, uh, confirmed the news saying it's like losing family, like losing a brother, Max and I. He did a lot of good things, not just for more motorsport, also uh, for the car industry. He was very good in making sure that uh, people built cars that were safe. Now, in the, in the mid-1970s, Mosley became the official legal advisor to the Formula One Constructors Association, uh, the body that represents Formula One constructors. In this role, he drew up the first Concord uh, agreement, settling a long-standing dispute between uh, FOCA, F-O-O-C-A, and the Federation International de Sport Automobile, FISA, the uh, then-governing body of Formula One. Now, in 1986, Mosley was elected president of the Manufacturers Commission of the of FISA and represented the world motors industry uh, on the World Motorsport Council. He was later then elected president of FISA in 1991. He was elected as the FIA president unopposed in 1993. And in the wake of the death of Brazilian driver Ayrton Senna in 1994, Mosley instituted widespread reform of safety in the sport. Two years later, in 1996, Mosley led the FIA's successful campaign to modernise and strengthen EU crash test standards for the first time since 1974, achieved by proposing amendments to the European Parliament requiring the offset frontal test and 300mm clearance side impact test. He was re-elected uh, as the president of FIA on three occasions in 1997, 2001 and 2005, each time uh, unopposed. 16 years he was in that role. And Mosley received uh, many government and industry awards, most notably uh, the National de la Légion d'Honneur in 2006 in recognition of his great contribution to road safety and motorsport.